Hello and welcome to my Disney speed draw. Uh, today I'm drawing Pegasus and Meg from Disney's Hercules. Probably one of my favourite films of all time. Favourite Disney film, definitely. So the paper I'm using here, it's Strathmore Toned Grey. It's actually the biggest sketchbook I have here. Um, and it was somebody called Max Steven on Instagram, if any of you follow his work, it's amazing. Um, he draws a lot of the Disney characters and the colours are just so vibrant on this paper so once I started using it there's no going back. Um, it's just it's really nice paper. It's just a mechanical pencil that I'm using because I get fed up with sharpening pencils all the time. So in this video I'm actually just doing the outline of the sketch and I think because it's going to take so long I'm going to add the colouring to a different video so if you would like to see that if you subscribe then you'll get a notification when I finish that one. Um, so at the moment this is just the, the outline of the two characters and I will colour it in later. So this is the first time I'm actually ever drawing Pegasus that I can remember anyway. I think I might have had one of those um, Disney guidebooks how to draw Hercules back in the day but um, this is the first time that I can recall drawing Pegasus. Um, quite often draw Meg, she seems to be my go-to character whenever I want to draw Disney just because she's such a fun character to draw and I think she's got a lot of, a lot of attitude, a lot of personality and that's, that's always good to draw. Um, but yeah this is the first time I'm drawing Pegasus and don't think it went too badly actually. Um, I think animals are always quite hard to draw because different proportions and it's hard to draw limbs I think on, on things like horses. Always very difficult but yeah I'm quite impressed with how Pegasus turned out on this, this little uh, sketch I did. This particular drawing probably took about two or three hours in total even though I was coming back to it every couple of hours maybe. Um, this is where my camera died so there is a little bit of a jump here because I didn't realise that the battery was dead and carried on drawing anyway. I think because it's winter here in the UK, it's January when I'm, when I'm filming this, um, it is quite difficult to sit for a long time because of the light. So this, this was something that I did for an hour or so and then came back to the next day which is why you might notice my clothes change every every couple of uh, minutes in this but yeah it's quite dark and um, it's, it's that sort of light where sometimes in the morning it's so sunny you can't see sketchbook and then it gets dark really quickly so not the best lighting to draw um, bring on summer um, where I can draw for like eight hours straight but the minute it's um, Trying to find the time and the light all at once is not the easiest thing. So as I said, I think Hercules is probably my favourite Disney film of all time. Um, I know it's hard to pick. I know like, if anyone says, what's your favourite Disney film, it's quite hard to just pinpoint it to one. But um, I think Hercules is one I can just re-watch over and over again and never get bored. So I think Hercules has a very unique art style. I think if you see any merchandise or you know Hercules in video games or whatever I think you can immediately spot it's from Hercules it's very unique in its style and I think that's what I really like about it I think um, I mean I remember there being um, a Disney I think it was a Disney Channel um, Hercules animated TV show and that was just iconic of my childhood I think um, it just it, it fitted perfectly with the film it looked like it belonged and I think that's down to the art style more than anything you can see a character and know it belongs in Hercules' world being a fan of Hercules though I think there is not enough merchandise or um, you very rarely see them um, at the parks the characters I know I follow a lot of um, Disney World, Disneyland, photographers and vloggers on Instagram and it's very rare you see any of the any of the Hercules characters 
in their photos. Um, I know there are some. I think um, Brie Chan, Brianna Garcia. I used to follow her on DeviantArt, and I follow her YouTube, and she does have um, a pretty cool video. Actually, um, I was watching recently, or re-watching recently, because I've seen it before a few times, where she's quizzing Hercules about his um, relationship with Ariel, because um, I think if Hercules' dad is Zeus, who is Poseidon's brother. Uh, Triton is Poseidon's son, which makes Ariel some distant relation to Hercules. And it was quite fun to see the characters reacting to that. They're, they're so good that I don't know how they can do... Um, well, obviously, they're, they're part of the Disney, Disney world, so they're full of magic, but I think their improv skills are amazing. I definitely would be happy to see more Hercules merchandise though. Um, or go to Disney World and meet Meg and Herc themselves. Maybe I'd be a little bit scared of Hades, but the other two I would I would be quite happy to meet at Disney World. So at this point here I'm just redoing some of my lines. I tend to put down a rough sketch first and then I go back and adjust where I need because I think Proportions and scale and things like that are very hard to do, so um, I'd like to put it down roughly and then just adjust what I need. So, um, you know, like Pegasus's hair there, and I redid a lot of his body because um, it just it just needed a little bit, a little bit of uh, adjusting. Um, Pegasus's face actually wasn't too difficult. I was quite impressed with that but you can see here that I go over Meg's face a few times because I just can't get it right. Um, I think her nose makes it very very difficult to, to do her face in a way that looks like it's Disney because her nose is very different to any other Disney princesses or Disney characters. Um, I think when I mean, you have that like pointed nose in a lot of anime so it's hard to make it look like it's Disney and not anime but hopefully I got there in the end it's just one of those things I can never get right this is the part of the video I start looking forward to colouring in um, if you want to see that um, hopefully that video will be up very soon and you'll see the complete Pegasus and Meg my first attempt at colouring in Pegasus as well so that about wraps up this video, um, thank you very much for watching and if you would like to leave a comment what I should draw next, I'll add it to my very long list of Disney characters that I'd like to draw, but I will read them and I will take inspiration if you have any suggestions.